to our uh, Commander-in-Chief, the different secretaries of the different departments. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. On May 9, 2016, national and local elections, a strong-willed public servant has emerged as the 16th President of the Republic of the Philippines. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, a leader with a commitment to pursue change in the Philippines. The Commander-in-Chief that will lead the Philippine National Police to take bolder and higher steps in ensuring security and public safety. As the officer in charge of the Philippine National Police, whom our President Rodrigo Roa Duterte has entrusted the Philippine National Police, it is with great pride and honor to present you in behalf of the whole PNP, the Six Years Accomplishment Report of the Philippine National Police, which we entitled the Golden Era of the PNP. And I enjoin everyone to please have your attention at the screens for the presentation of the Six Year Accomplishment Report of the PNP under the administration of our beloved President. Mr. President, Mayor Duretre, sir, this is our tribute to the best Mayor President of the Philippine Republic. It's official, it's now President Rodrigo Duterte. As he preferred, he took his oath as the 16th President of the country. The president of many firsts, ang 16th President, na si President-elect Rodrigo Duterte. Siya ang kauna-unahang Pangulo na mula sa Mindanao. It is a historic day for the country. Rodrigo Duterte, who overwhelmingly won in the elections, takes the helm as 16th President. <laughs> I do not claim any greatness. I do not have this special talent. I'm just an ordinary. Destroy the drug. A strong commander-in-chief that will lead the Philippine National Police to take bolder and higher steps in ensuring public safety. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte has given his marching orders to ensure change in the country. He committed to eradicate corruption, criminality, illegal drugs and deterioration of law and order during his inaugural speech as he took his post as the President of the Republic. He also committed to eradicate terrorism in the country. As the country faced the COVID-19 pandemic, he remained steadfast and firm as the unexpected challenge has emerged globally. The vision and aspirations of President Duterte was translated into his generous support to the PNP, grading the capability of the PNP. Compared to the fiscal year 2010 to 2015 approved budget, the funds allocated to the PNP drastically increased by 118% for fiscal year 2016 to 2022 with the total amount of 23 billion pesos. President Duterte fulfilled his promise to increase the salaries of cops and soldiers when he signed the law adjusting their compensation. The increase in the base pay ranged from 36% to 121% in all ranks of the Philippine National Police. Wherein, salary increase of patrolman or patrolwoman was doubled from 14,834 to 29,668 pesos. As a result, the General Appropriations Act budget for the PNP was increased by 123% which is now at its highest at 169 billion for fiscal year 2022. President Duterte questioned the low amount of the combat duty pay and combat incentive pay which depreciates the sacrifices of the PNP and AFP who are protecting the country. From the very low 500 pesos it was increased to 3000 pesos to give more value to the sacrifices of the protectors of peace. From the three air assets on 2016, 
the PNP Air unit has now 13 air assets worth 2,506,409,940 pesos to support the law enforcement efforts of the PNP units, from the 170 watercrafts on 2016. The PNP Maritime Group has now 353 watercrafts worth 911,957,000 pesos to boost the capability on the protection of the maritime environment, from the 18,018 land vehicles on 2016, the PNP unit has now 22,142 land vehicles worth 4,269,392,902 pesos to that are now being used by the police officers to better serve the community. In terms of firepower equipment, the PNP has now 419,902 firearms with 96% increase from the CEP amounting to 7.182 billion pesos. The communication equipment now has a total of 58,485 units from 73% increase amounting to 3.007 billion pesos. In support of the anti-insurgency program of President Duterte, the PNP increased the ISO or anti-terrorism equipment to 121,517 unit with 499% increase of equipment amounting to 3.797 billion pesos. The PNP also increased its investigative equipment by 26% amounting to 694.769 million pesos. A total of 14,680,769,000 pesos was given to the PNP to improve its move, shoot, communicate and investigate capabilities. For the infrastructure projects of the PNP, a total of 3,055,101,000 pesos was allocated by the PNP to improve the police stations and other infrastructures. To ensure the discipline within the organization, the PNP revitalized its effort on the internal cleansing which penalized the 37,690 airing PNP personnel. Along with this, 773 personnel were dismissed, and 223 personnel were demoted, suspended and reprimanded due to their involvement in illegal drugs. 1,125 personnel were meritoriously promoted in recognition of their exemplary performance, these include the PNP Marawi contingent and other operational accomplishments. The remaining 42 of the SAF 44 are conferred with the PNP Medal of Valor in recognition of their selfless sacrifice for the country. This is the highest number of PNP Medal of Valor awarded by any President of the Republic. 90 million pesos PSFSFA was given to family of the 867 personnel killed in police operations. 66,300,000 pesos PSFSFA was given to 839 personnel wounded in police operations. 71,623,000 pesos was granted to 3,936 PNP beneficiaries through Rewards Educational Assistance Program, Dependents Educational Assistance Program and Special Educational Assistance Program. The PNP has intensified its war on drugs with anti-illegal drugs operations which started with 23,250 in 2016 and has drastically increased to 322,836 in 2022. 471,193 suspects from illegal drugs-related operations were arrested, and 1,307 high-value individuals involved in illegal drugs were arrested, neutralized and have surrendered and a total of 68.372 billion pesos worth of illegal drugs were confiscated during the stint of President Duterte. In the campaign against illegal gambling, the PNP has conducted 129,011 anti-illegal gambling operations which led to the arrest of 376,342 suspects, seizure of 105,500,000 pesos worth of cash and articles and filing of 8,518,641 case in court. The PNP has improved the crime solution with the arrest of 55,994 most wanted persons, an arrest of 378,308 other wanted persons. In the support to public safety and internal security, 
46 communist terrorist groups were dismantled which contributed to the increased number of surrenders with a total of 16,229, and recovery of 2,939 firearms from the CTGs. In the deterrence of local terrorist groups, 1,117 LTG members were arrested, neutralized or surrendered. 8,653 members of criminal gangs were arrested, neutralized or surrendered, 435 members of private armed groups were arrested, neutralized or surrendered. As a result, the Crime Clearance Efficiency Index has improved from 72.76% in calendar year 2016 to 968 in calendar year 2022. And the Crime Solution Efficiency Index has improved from 57.45 in calendar year 2016 to 79.58 in calendar year 2022. Along with this, the average monthly crime rate has decreased to 13.22%. The National Index Crime Rate has decreased to 2.53%. And the crime volume has decreased to 85,701. The trust of the stakeholders has significantly increased which generated 3,979 memorandum of agreement and understanding between various government agencies, non-government agencies, and other stakeholders in all level of the PNP. With efforts in the anti-illegal drugs campaign, 1,228,060 illegal drug users surrendered and underwent recovery in wellness program that were PNP-initiated and supported activities. As a result of the efforts of the National Task Force to end local communist armed conflict, many of our countrymen who have been deceived by the local communist have regained their trust in the Republic. The PNP ranked 8th in trust rating with 53,867 rating, and ranked 7th the approval rating with 35.2 rating. And the National Safety Index was at a high 97% rating, based on a National Police Commission survey. With the outcome of national and local election for year 2022, the PNP has ensured public safety and law and order with only 27 related incidents, these incidents are significantly lower than year 2010 and 2016 national and local elections, this is the effect of capable and efficient police service that was developed since 2016. The aspirations of the ambition Natin 2040 and the legacy of President Duterte will be adapted in the PNP's long-term transformation plan, the PNP Patrol Plan 2030. The accomplishments and gains would not be made possible without the trust and support of President Duterte to the PNP. Indeed, the PNP was able to give optimum performance in serving and protecting our country. Over the years, this period was considered the golden era of the Philippine National Police and the organization will continue to improve and sustain the breakthroughs of this era, in honor of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. As we move forward to the new leadership in the, in the Executive Department, we assure our outgoing Commander-in-Chief that we will sustain the golden era of the Philippine National Police. We will uphold the vision and aspirations of our President, Mayor Rodrigo Duterte, sir, towards the attainment of our vision to be a highly capable, effective, and credible police force. Asahan po ninyo, ng inyong Philippine National Police ay laging magbibigay ng serbisyong tama. Isang police na tapat sa kanyang panunungkulan Isang pulis na may tapang sa mga lumalabag sa batas at isang pulis na may malasakit sa buong sambayanang Pilipino. Your efforts and contributions to the PNP will never be forgotten. We will be forever grateful with your generosity that guided the gains and accomplishments of your beloved Philippine National Police. 
to our Commander-in-Chief, Mayor, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, sir, in behalf of the 225,000 strong men and women of the Philippine National Police, I hereby render my snappiest salute, sir.